football in 22 years, I think it was. And after we won that game, the emotions were high, and we were all excited because that was something that hadn't been done in 22 years. And after the game, I went down to the local Quick Pick gas station. I wanted to get a Gatorade. I was a little dehydrated after the game. And there was an older gentleman in his late 60s up there, and he pointed me in the chest, and we're talking about this community, our community, Salzburg. He said, your win almost brought me to tears because that is something that hadn't been done in 22 years. That meant so much to him. And that hit me harder than it hit anything I can't even ever describe to you, was seeing someone wait 22 years for someone, me, being a junior to give him that much happiness. That's what this, football is the biggest sport in our country. There is no doubt about that. And that's what it means to a lot of these smaller communities. It's a time when older, you know, old past, you know, alumni of the school can come together and see someone they might not have seen in 15 years at a high school football game. It's time for you to collect, you know, meet with old friends who might be at college coming back to visit a game. The 19 guys in our locker room right now, they have never given up. When it's 90 degrees outside, we're out there, we're working hard. This community means so much to us. I would hate to see it go to Blairville in that stadium. Those lights never come on again. It would hurt me. It would hurt the juniors. It would, it would hurt everyone in this community. Because there is not a better feeling than when we beat Marion Center and coming to the sidelines and me seeing my grandfather tell me good game. And there's a never a better feeling than just seeing your community as a whole support 19 kids. And I would love to see more kids come out. I think last year, the number in our junior high program was pretty small. I love to go to the junior high games and support those guys along because they come out every Friday night and support us. You know, there, was, there wasn't that many kids in the junior high program last year, but I think I counted at the last Thursday junior high game, there was close to 30 some kids in our junior high program. And I read in an article in the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette that not, we are not the only school having this problem with small participation. A Whitfield school last year went 10-2 and two and got eliminated in the second round of their district playoffs. This year, they only had 15 kids come out for their football program. Smaller than us. Their small program smaller than us. In one game, they had to field 12 players. They only had 12 players able to play. But they went out because they understand, just as much as us 19 understand, that football means a heck of a lot to the community. And it brings a lot of people together. There's differences everywhere in this world, but I think as, as a small western Pennsylvania town, that's, football is just something we can all connect to. That's something that's like, what are you doing? Oh, Salzburg's at home. You know, let's go out and, you know, let's watch a football game. There's nothing better than that. I, I, there, there truly is nothing better. So I think, you know, the fact of the matter is, it's a cycle. I read in the article that it's a cycle. I think um, people coming out, it, it'll change, just like you said with the culture and trying to get more kids to come out. Um, I just think we've got to hold strong and keep this program here. Um, like I said, it means, you know, not only does it mean a lot to the 19 kids right now in our locker room, it means a heck of a lot to these community members. Thank you. Uh, I nominate Mr. Elwood to chair the committee that uh, <laughs>